kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. How's she going today? Well, as you've seen there from Amanda's clip she made when I was test driving the old girl that supposedly had a bad transmission, but all it was was people that didn't know how to drive a synchro. <laughs> We're on our way home with another one and I got this thing fucking cheap, right? Because <laughs> I thought the transmission was fucked. They can think that if they want to. <laughs> Um, there is something kind of going on, but Dad is kind of thinking that it's the, uh, clutch is what's doing it. And, uh, that makes sense, but we'll see here anyways when we get it home. I mean, uh, the story of the tractor goes that, uh, the guy I bought it from was going to haul it for scrap iron for another guy. So he got there to load the tractor up and seen the thing. He's like, well, fuck, I can't haul that for scrap iron. I won't be able to live with myself. So he bought it from him for pretty damn cheap. And uh, that guy told him it was missing the work gears, whatever in the hell that's supposed to mean. So he hauled it back to his place and uh, put it for sale and actually as one of you guys that watched the video sent me the link to it here and uh, <laughs> I got it for $2,700 because I figured the transmission was fucked and when I drove it around their yard I went through every gear all three reverses and all eight forward and they're all there the only time it did anything kind of funny was when I put it in eighth gear and it kind of made a kunk kunk noise and felt like clutch slip a little bit. So I'm wondering if it's warped or something's buggered up in there. Some broke springs maybe. But uh, 24532 factory and cast center duals, real long axles, adjustable front axle and a diff lock in it. It's a 68 when I ran the uh, serial number. So they uh, pull started it because it's 24 volt and only has one six volt battery on it. So, uh, of course, it wouldn't crank, but put it in seventh gear. They were trying to pull start it before I got there, and they had it in second. And, of course, their little tractor, little Massey, they had hooked on and just wanted to spin. <laughs> so I put her in seventh, and about five-foot pull there, she was running. Runs like a top. It's in pretty damn good shape, but I'll show you a little bit better when we get home. We got another couple hours before we're back home again here, so... Bombing along at 110, the old Duramax just loves it back there, the big bitch, so. Fucking phone that cuts out all the time. All I was gonna say is I'll talk to you in a few. Well, it, quite some time has passed since uh, the start of this video, like, I don't know, two weeks at least here, I think. <laughs> but, here it is, another 5020. 
1968. So I'm going to keep this guy because he's the same age as my charger. <laughs> Got my brand new charger and my brand new 5020 in 1968 that way. <laughs> but um, it has transmission problems. I don't know if we covered that. I know we were speculating on different things, but uh, pretty sure it is one of the top shafts has bearings going on it. So you got to split the front and then you got to pull the transmission away. I don't think the cab will have to come off completely, but we're going to have to unbolt quite a bit of them anyways to get in there. Such is life though, I guess. Um, so yeah, like I said, 68 adjustable front axle. Got really good front tires. That one there isn't terrible starting to crack a little bit but that's gonna last a very long time yet and then that other tire is like fucking near new it's really nice uh 24 532 inside and then uh like like oh now who's calling me i suppose i'll pick up again here in a minute okay it was truckers wanting to come for my heated canola there but so anyway, where we left off, um, it has had a few little things done to it. It's got a glass fuel filter on it, which someone has changed instead of the two spin-ons, which is kind of nice. Uh, it has been converted to 12 volt, but not very well. <laughs> I'd like to keep this cab, and I'm actually going to air condition it. Be something kind of different. Um, this is a just a disgusting disaster they have going on here so i'll clean all that out of it uh adjustable front axle that's pretty cool in my opinion i don't like their funny little intake they've got on there their pre-cleaner so i'm going to get a proper one like the 4020 uh, i just threw a rain cap on there to keep rain from running down the muffler into the engine you'll see here it's got well they only got one battery sitting on them here There's supposed to be another but uh I don't know. I, I want the batteries where they belong, which is in this battery box. And then this butchered hackery. Like, I don't even know what goes through someone's fucking head. Obviously, these steel lines, one must have rubbed through. So instead of taking the hood off, no, let's grab the sawzall. Cut the hood. Oh, my God. I just had to want to punch that guy in the head that done that. Just bend the hood out of the way. And then they put these two rubber lines back through the fender beside the tire and into the valve. Ay caramba, I tell you, some people. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, stepping up into the cab, it has an air ride seat on like an 8300. It swivels and it moves side to side and it's really quite comfy, actually. I like it. <laughs> so, the cab, the interior is pretty much all gone. So I'm going to make a, a kit for it like we did for uh, buddies there, the other one that I sold. What, it says it's got 8,100 hours and I am inclined to believe it because it's got the proper tack in it yet. Usually after about 10,000 hours that proper tack kills itself. Um, everything works except for the starter. I think the solenoid is stuck but shifts amazing and you can tell this was a field tractor for its life not loader work or anything because the gear shift barely has any wear on it like you can tell it hasn't been going from reverse to forward reverse to forward doing loader work or blade work it just shifts like a fucking dream nice fuck i hate this phone only thing wrong with them foot pedal is seized up lights even work on the proper switch now that amazed me <laughs> diff lock too this is the only one i've ever seen with a diff lock in it uh my great uncle had one that had a diff lock but i never seen it that was long before my time so that's pretty pretty cool i think but, uh, like I said, I'd like to air condition this cab, make a kit for it, the whole nine yards. I think it'll be pretty sweet, so we're going to end up splitting it, 
and opening up the transmission see what we can find in them and uh, yeah I don't really know if I told you this story but the guy I bought the tractor from wasn't the owner well he was but he wasn't he wasn't the, the, the moron <laughs> so original owner had the tractor don't know for how long apparently he wasn't so swift though they said and uh, let me climb out of here <laughs> transmission started making noises in certain gears there as we've been over took it into the John Deere and they told him it was going to be about ten thousand dollars to fix obviously with the labor and everything so he said fuck it phoned the guy I bought it from who hauls scrap iron and he wanted him to haul it and get it crushed as scrap iron and guy gets there and goes you know, I I can't do that <laughs> can't do that in good conscience like he wouldn't be able to sleep at night if he sent the poor old girl for scrap like that so uh, he bought it from him and in the meantime there original owner took the duels off took the tires off cut the rims up and turned them into fire pits and then threw the fucking wedges away for scrap iron so that's why we're missing the duels so guy i bought it from took it home and they don't know anything about john deere they couldn't get it to start they couldn't shift it they couldn't pull start it nothing <laughs> so they put it on kijiji and they're asking 10 grand which is ludicrous obviously no one phoned them they thought well we gotta i want to get rid of this thing it's taking up too much room so they put it online for $2,750 <laughs> and actually as one of you guys, one of my subscribers and whatever I've met a couple times, sent me the link to it actually. He's the one who found it. I phoned the guy about five minutes after the ad went up and I didn't really even ask him anything. I just said I'd take it because I mean for that kind of money, there's that much there just in sheet metal. Like, <laughs> So I bought it from him and uh they didn't know how to load it they knew it ran because they had drove it on and drove it off of their trailer when they picked it up and uh so we put it in the proper gear since i knew how to shift them and they hooked on with their tractor and gave it a pull and within 10 feet it was running and you can see uh, amanda made clips for me there at the beginning of the video when i was driving it around the yard i put it through all the gears just to uh try and feel out what they're saying about transmission problems but anyway here we are now with another twenty seven hundred dollar fifty twenty <laughs> this guy here i can kind of inclined to keep like i said the diff lock's cool and being the year that it is is kind of sweet also so I'm, i want to keep it too because it's got a lot of rare options on it so i'll just have three fifty twenties in the fifty ten and then our buddy we'll have the other one that we'll probably see fairly often because he bought a farm not far from me and we've always gotten along good so we'll probably help each other back and forth a bit but here's that 4020 too that I've got to do up yet as well but I just put this old school rain cap on there I thought that looked pretty cool actually one of you guys mailed me that too it's an old John Deere rain cap but more of the style I'd say off of a 4010 but this guy needed one, so it's on here now. Anyway, I guess, I suppose, I think. <laughs> that's where I'm going to leave you guys for this video. So if you want to see uh, an army of 5020s get fixed up and reassembled, make sure you stick around. And that's what the other thing was I was going to say. I want to get rid of this because I don't like cast center duels. They're too big and heavy and awkward to deal with. I would like to find, I think 4840 had the same size axle shaft and maybe some of the four wheel drives, I'm not sure. Find a 4840 that came from factory with 24532 duels and put the steel centered rims with the cast hub. I think that would look pretty fucking cool in my opinion. <laughs> but anyway, said if you want to see how that pans out and that one and that one. <laughs> every other project we've got on the go make sure you stick around so thanks for watching talk to all you guys in the next one